Moving from traditional Microsoft licensing, where licenses were essentially a piece of paper, to Microsoft 365, or formerly Office 365, has been a big transition and an enormous challenge for many organizations. Now each user has a series of checkboxes that can be confusing, easily uh, or mistakenly set easily, uh, and very complex to understand. Uh, here's an example of some. I have a very simple set of licenses in my environment. Uh, many of our customers have 20 or 30 different entries, each with the level of complexity you see here. Chaosoft Administrator in our web portal not only provides complete end-to-end -end license management for Office 365, we also provide license optimization. Here is our cost savings dashboard. I'm looking at a particular user and I can go out and say, can this user be optimized to reduce my costs? Our system, by completely modeling the Microsoft license uh, environment, recommends that we move this user from an E5 to an E3. Some other organizations may attempt to do this or say they do this, they're looking at only whether the user is actually using some of the features or not. Our solution actually provides something called the Optimization Advisor, which not only looks at the user's activity, but also looks at all of the other parameters to make sure that that will be a successful migration to the new license and a, and a cost savings. In this case, should we go ahead and complete this migration, it would save us $13 per month. Over one user, that's not a big deal, but in an enterprise scale, that could be millions of dollars. In addition to license optimization, we do provide dashboards that can be delegated uh, for uh, letting departments optimize their licenses, but also just to determine what exactly is being used by their pool of users. Now, in addition to the dashboards I've just shown you, we also provide complete management for licenses as well, both manually and automatically. So here I have another user, Albert Einstein. I see that he has a license uh, uh, in Office 365. And when I call up the license, by looking at an Active Directory user, I get the actual license with the associated user from Office 365. And here you will see that the view is much different. It's much simpler. We can uh, provide complete control over the visibility of all your licensing. So you get to determine what licenses are shown to end users based on their uh, maybe their position within the organization, uh, or maybe their location. And we can also uh, completely control which checkboxes are mandatory and which are optional. Now, in addition to being able to manage the users here, we also provide full license quota and back billing and automatic assignment, both directly to Office users and through Active Directory hybrid operations. So I'm in our, our backend console, our automation console, and this is a, a rule that looks at an Active Directory group and then assigns an Office license. Very simple to configure. I provide the group, some several options that I choose from dialog uh, dropdowns, and then I choose the licensing that I want to be assigned. I save this, then I can run this. This can now also be incorporated into other runbooks or workflows, uh, such as user provisioning, or maybe you have people when they change between departments or regions, they have to have new licenses assigned in a specific way. And finally, I mentioned we have something called license quotas. License quotas allow you to divide up your total tenant licenses among different groups of administrators. Here I've divided them up by Columbus, New York, and Seattle, which correspond to virtual admin units that I see that I use for delegated administration, day-to-day -day delegated administration across those cities. Here's Columbus, there's New York, and there's Seattle. Those users now have a certain fixed number of licenses they can use from your total set of tenant licenses. And so when they go to assign a license, we'll go out here, look at Albert's licenses one more time. They won't see the total number of tenant licenses and they will not have the ability to over assign their allotment. They will rather see what their quota allows them to assign. If they are out of licenses of a particular type, uh, we show it in red saying they have no more of these types of licenses available and they need to uh, follow some other directions. We also provide you with the ability to provide custom messaging here to tell them what they should be doing. I can enforce that or I can allow them to go over. So in this case, I have zero of E5 licenses left, but I'm still allowed to assign this because I'm allowed to go over what my quota was. This first one, E1, I'm not allowed to exceed quota. And so we've, we've made it red and blanked it out. We believe that we can save up to between 34 uh, and 40 percent of your office licensing uh, costs by right sizing the licenses, thus allowing you to spend that money on other workflows you might want to move to the cloud.